All right, so here we've got a, another optimization problem. So it says a bookstore can obtain a certain gift book from the publisher at a cost of $3 per book. The bookstore has been offering the book at a price of $15 per copy and at that price has been selling 200 copies per month. The bookstore is planning to lower its price to stimulate sales and estimates that for each $1 reduction in the price, 20 more books will be sold each month. At what price should the bookstore sell the book to generate the greatest possible profit? All right. So first, let's let's go through here and the the important thing here is setting up the uh, our function. All right. So what are they wanting us to maximize? Well, they want to know the price that will give us uh, at what price should the bookstore sell the book to generate the greatest profit? So at what price? So we're going to let X equal the selling price of the book. And they want us to maximize the greatest possible profit. They want, to, they want us to find the greatest possible profit. Well, we know that profit is equal to revenue minus cost. Okay. So the revenue is the selling price times the number of books sold. Okay. So we have our selling price. Well, now we need the number of books sold. So we need the revenue and then we need the cost. Well, cost is the cost of the book times the number of books sold. All right. So let's, let's look and see how we can do this. Well, for revenue, okay, we've got X and look here at cost. Well, what's the cost of a book? It's $3 to produce each book. So you can see I have the cost of the book, how much it costs to produce the book, and I have the selling price of the book. But I don't have number of books sold. I need to come up with a, with a function for that. So I've got number of books sold. Well, that's going to be 200 plus 20 times 15 minus X. All right. So let's go over how I got that. All right. So it says the bookstore has been offering the book at a price of $15 per copy. And at that price has been selling 200 copies per month. Okay, so you can see, so remember, this is how many books that are sold. So remember, X is the selling price. So if the selling price is $15 and I plug the 15 into here, well, that's going to give me 200 times 15 minus, whoop, 15 minus 15. Well, that's a parenthesis. That's zero. And so how many books did I sell? 200. That's what it says here. Okay. And then, and then it goes on to say that uh, the bookstore is planning to lower its price to stimulate sales and estimates that for each $1 reduction in price, 20 more books will be sold. So look at this. This is going to be 20 times 15 and then if we reduce the price by $1, that means it's sold for $14. And that's 20 times 1, which is 20. See, I reduced it by $1. 20 more books were sold. So that would be the 220. And then look, if I reduce the price by another dollar, 
to $13, well, that would be 2 times 20 is 40. So see, I reduced it by another dollar, an extra 20 were sold. So that would be 240 and so on. So I hope that makes sense on how I came up with that. All right. So now I think we're ready to, to get everything here. So let's let's come up here and let's change colors. So I've got revenue. Okay. So remember, revenue is the selling price times number of books sold. Okay. So the revenue is going to be the selling price, which is X, times the number of books sold. 200 plus 20 times 15 minus X. Okay. And then I need the cost. Well, the cost is the cost of producing the book times number of books sold. And so my cost is going to be, well, the cost of the book is $3. That gives us that in the problem. Times the number of books sold. All right. And then we and, and then we remember that uh, we want to maximize the profit, right? Okay, so remember profit. Let me go to a different color here. Uh, profit is equal to revenue minus cost. Okay. All right, so profit So the revenue which is this x times 200 plus 20 times 15 minus x minus the cost which is 3 times 200 plus 20 times 15 minus X. All right. So I'm going to erase the rest of this because all we need is this to, uh, to go ahead and finish up the problem. So I'll pause it while I do it. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to go ahead and kind of simplify this thing up some. So it'll be easier to take the derivative. So for this, I get uh, x minus 3 times 200 plus 20 times 15 minus x. Okay. So what I did is I took this. Okay. That's a common factor. And I factored it out. And when I factor it out, I'm left with x minus 3. That's all I did there. So now I get my profit is equal to X minus three. And then I'm going to clean this up some. I'm going to distribute the two and then I'll uh, combine like terms. Okay. And I just realized here I've got a two written there. And that should actually be 20. So I'm going to distribute the 20 and then combine like terms. So that is going to leave me with 500 minus 20x. And so that's going to give me my profit. And then if I fold this out, uh, I will end up with negative 20x squared 
plus 560x minus 1500. Okay. And all I did was fold this and then combine like terms and got this. So now I think we're ready to take the derivative. So the derivative is going to be negative 40x plus 560. And then I'll take that, set it equal to zero, and solve for x. So I would get x is equal to $14. And that is at what price should the bookstore sell the book, $14, to generate the greatest possible profit. All right, so that was a little, that one was, was a little long, but hopefully it helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.